Yet another of the innovative features that comes standard with Lead Perfection is its ability to handle the outbound dialing process. In most small companies, outbound dialing is not handled as a formal process. Often it is something that is left up to the discretion of appointment setters. Through experience working with different home remodeling firms, RJR Technology has found that the amount of outbound dialing that is made on an existing lead is well below what is adequate. A typical scenario is that leads will come in and are printed on a sheet of paper. That paper is passed around between a few workers who are responsible for calling prospects. Some prospects are easy to get in touch with, while others are not. But what happens all too often is that after a few days, the lead is discarded, never to be dialed again. Lead Perfection manages the entire lead pipeline and allows appointment setters to strategically dial prospects over the course of at least 90 days, giving high priority to the new leads, but allowing periodic attempts to contact some of the older leads as well. And the best part is that the system manages the entire process automatically. Appointment setters need only click on a single button to pop open a prospect and begin dialing. If a user of the system is granted dialing capabilities, they'll have a Get Next to Dial button on the top of their screen. If they click on this button, Lead Perfection will search the database and give them the most appropriate lead to contact given the instructions that have been preset. These instructions include prioritization of the various categories of leads so that certain leads will always supersede dialing of non-critical leads. Let's click on the Get Next to Dial button and see what happens. Notice a few things. First, a prospect record is automatically retrieved in the main section of the screen. Also note we now have a few new drop-down boxes in the header. The first drop-down box contains all of the known phone numbers for this prospect. And the second drop-down box contains all the possible call outcomes that could take place once we actually dial the prospect. Perhaps you've noticed the message just below these drop-down boxes which says, OK to leave message. This feature is there to allow appointment setters to call a prospect multiple times in a day, but alert them as to when it's unnecessary to leave a voice message. For example, let's say that one of our appointment setters has tried calling this prospect earlier today and already left an answering machine message. In order to avoid looking like a nuisance, Lead Perfection will tell us not to leave a message since the amount of time since the last message is too short. This time period is something that can be changed in a setup table. In the current example, let's assume that we did get an answering machine, and we did leave a message. In this case, we just select Left Message from the drop-down box and click End Call. This will do two things for us. First, it will add an entry into the Calls tab, recording the fact that we did try calling this prospect. Second, based on the call result of Left Message, it will reschedule the next dialing attempt for an appropriate date and time in the future. The wait between call attempts associated with each call result is something that can be changed in the setup table. This feature takes all of the cumbersome record keeping away from the appointment setter so that he or she can focus on dialing more prospects and setting more appointments for their sales reps. It also assures that we continue to contact leads as far into the future as allowed according to preset instructions. Included in this would be restrictions necessary to accommodate federal do not call regulations. A company can have as many appointment setters dialing at once as they desire, as Lead Perfection can easily handle a large-scale call center operation with hundreds, if not thousands, of concurrent users. Lead Perfection categorizes all leads into one of several user-definable groups, or queues. Not only are the initial contacts with prospects included in these queues, but Lead Perfection has also built the ability to support a confirmation process, which many remodeling firms use as a means of reminding the homeowner of their appointment a day or two before it takes place. Somewhere in the organization, there will be a person responsible for deciding which appointment setters dial which categories of leads. We'll call this person the call center supervisor. By clicking on the call center menu, then picking Dial Control, the supervisor will access a page which will allow him or her to determine which employees should dial which category of leads. This way, one could have the best appointment setters dialing the most valuable leads, while having less experienced appointment setters dialing the less valuable leads. Across the top of this table, we see all of the categories of leads that have been previously set up. Each row represents a person who has been given dialing capabilities. The call center supervisor can click Edit, 
and adjust the drop-down for each person for each category in order to tell Lead Perfection which categories each person should dial. Notice that the drop-down boxes also contain choices for regions, which can be set up in order to focus a given employee on dialing a specific territory. In this case, we'll set it up so that John Barton only receives resets in the Knoxville area, while all others get leads randomly in all territories. Now, when he clicks Get Next to Dial, he'll only receive records that match the category assigned to him on this page. The last page we'll take a look at is the Pipeline page. It's listed under the Call Center menu and displays the summary of the leads in each queue. If we click on any of the queues, we'll be able to see the actual leads that are set up to be dialed. Records in gray represent those which were recently dialed, but no contact was made, and not enough time has elapsed before we should make another dialing attempt.